the uh, last couple days it's been acting kind of weird, sluggish, um, cranking a little slow. Went to hit it this morning and it does nothing. So uh, three years old and the battery's already bad. The factory one is 750 cranking amps. So I went out and bought a three year free replacement, 800 cranking amps, die hard from advance. Release the hood latch, which is right there. And the battery is located over here. This has got two 10 millimeters, one right here, one right here for the negative. This is positive, this is negative, and it has an insulated uh, cover on it. So we'll remove this real quick. You can see the light is still on there, thinking the battery's good, but we know better, something's up with it. Okay, loosen that one up. Okay. The next one right here. Get your negative. Pull that off. And then we're gonna pull this cover up. Should pull straight up, I'm hoping, without ripping up too bad. Kind of flimsy. If they're too old, they'll just fall apart. So you gotta be a little careful with them. Yeah, that's off and now it also has a hole down right here which has got a bunch of junk on it for some reason and that looks like it's about an eight millimeter the two on the top with a 10 millimeter and for whatever reason this is 11 30 seconds on the bottom down here so you have to look that up before you start trying to get it out because this holds it in place of course that put that right over there I'll even clean that off before it goes back in and last thing we gotta do is just lift it up this doesn't seem to have a handle on it so you gotta do it the old-fashioned way and just kind of grab it for whatever reason there seems to be a lot of dirt in here so I'm just gonna blow out a little like nice thing about this one, it does have a handle like that uh, to lift it in there. All you do is push that back, make sure it's out of the way, drop it down like that. It should sit right there. Uh, now, batteries always come like in a group size. Uh, your vehicle, this one I think is a 65. Um, so you just got to check with the manufacturer to find what group size it is and what cranking amps it requires. It is very convenient to have that handle. This also has covers on it, so you gotta pull off. And you wanna make sure that positive, negative, that you don't get that backwards. It can cause a lot of damage to your electrical system. Okay, the next thing we do is reinstall the insulation on it. Cover. Kinda don't wanna rip it up. That actually goes pretty easy like that. Okay. And then I'm gonna install a holder that's down below and this one's filthy for whatever reason so I got to clean that out and you can see this has got a, a wedge to it a shape at an angle that fits in there like that and you just start this by hand and you snug that up and the battery won't be bouncing around tight now there's also cleaners you can clean inside here get a little corrosion off of that usually you'd use this on an older battery for the inside here but since this is brand new I'm not really worried about this side I'm just gonna touch this up over here it's got the bristles on it you can see it's cleaning it up real, real good in there so it's got good contact and we'll do the same thing to the back one back here that up for the fun of it okay now we are going to install the positive one first and it just slides down on there 
Screw the tens. You can have it tight, but you don't want to get crazy. This is only a quarter inch drive. Okay, plenty tight. And now once I put this on there, that light's going to come on. We're going to have power again. The light's nice and bright over there. That should take care of my starting problems. Okay. Tight. Tight. Last thing I'm going to do is they do have some protector, battery protector. We're going to put that on. It helps against corrosion and stuff. That's all it takes to install a battery in a 2017 Dodge Ram 1500 with a 5.7 Hemi.